permission. There are two remunerations are there. One is actual, one is maximum permissible, which one is less. 15 marks, sure, short question in your examination. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Alessa here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing your session 10 of corporate tax planning. In this, the topic called tax planning and managerial decisions. In the previous session, we worked out one problem on firm versus company. And we will go for the second problem in this particular topic. Your agenda is very simple, partnership firm versus company. The problem number two, we done with problem one and we are doing problem number two. What is the format? As I told you, we have to do partnership form, complete your book profit. Then you go with individual partners. There are two statements over. Then come to company, calculate the actual value. Then you do individual members done. So then finally you have to compare what is the total tax payable under partnership form and what is the total tax payable under company and partnership form you will get three taxes and company you will get four taxes. Why four? Normal tax, dividend distribution tax, member one and member two. There are four taxes we are supposed to calculate. Now so we'll work out one problem you will understand better. Now, AB would like to set up a new business, either a partnership firm or private limited company. There are two options are there. First, they would like to draw the maximum permissible amount of remuneration equally. See, in this problem, the remuneration is not mentioned. In the previous problem, if you are not watched, please go back to session 8. In that, I have mentioned that remuneration is 30,000 per month. But in this problem, have they mentioned? No, they have not mentioned. So what we are supposed to do? Like, remuneration not mentioned in this. Now, they are entitled to simple interest of 12%. Capital contribution is 30 lakh. They are entitled to simple interest of 12% on the capital contribution of 30 lakh. So interest calculation they have given and capital contribution also given. Have they mentioned it is each? It is not mentioned. So 30 lakh it belongs to everything. Now, partners do not have any other income. Next, estimated profit before deduction of interest and remuneration is 20 lakh. Your profit, your profit is 20 lakh. Now, Advice as to which form of business is beneficial from tax planning point of view. Now, so first we'll go with what partnership form. What is the procedure? Net profit minus your interest. What you will get? You will get book profit minus remuneration. There are two remunerations are there. One is actual, one is maximal permissible, which one is less. So that will be end of your part one. Now, estimated profit 20 lakh, less interest on partner's capital, like 30 lakh into 12%, it is 3 lakh 60. Your answer is 16 lakh 40,000. Now, what is the remuneration? Have they given any remuneration? No, if it is not given, what we are supposed to do? Standard limit, 16 lakh 40, up to 3 lakh. 90%, above 3 lakh, 60%. So in this, up to 3 lakh, 90%, above 3 lakh, so how much? 60%, hope you got it. Now, so if you calculate this, 3 lakh into 90%, 2 lakh 70, 13 lakh into 40 into 60%, it is 8 lakh 4,000, hope you got it, yes. Income from business. So if you add both, you got 10 lakh 74. You cannot compare which one is less. Why? Because you don't have actual remuneration. Actual remuneration is there. You are supposed to compare. Here comparison is not required. Now, 5 lakh 66. Then what is the taxation? 31.2. Calculate 31.2. You will get 3 lakh 89, 402. This will go to partner 1 and partner to equally. Equally, they are supposed to distribute. Hope you are clear. Yes. Next, 
will go for individual calculation partner a partner b remuneration is what i'll go back your remuneration see 10,74 divided by 2. Yes. Interest 3,60,000 divided by 2. Yes. Your income from this one 7,17,000. Calculate tax up to 2,50 no tax. Yes. About 2,55%. .50, Remaining value I'll show you. What is your value? 7,17,000. Up to two lakh fifty thousand, no tax. Remaining two lakh fifty thousand, five percent. Two lakh fifty plus two lakh fifty is how much? Five lakh. Remaining is how much? Seven lakh seventeen minus five lakh. Remaining is two lakh seventeen thousand on this twenty percent. So this one we classified into three. Up to two lakh fifty nil. Next two lakh fifty is five percent. Remaining balance in twenty percent. So we calculated. So if you calculate, you will get your tax of fifty eight one thirty six, including your education cess of four percent. Now you got it from this. You minus this. Yes, same thing because we have same value for both actually. Now this is done six lakh fifty eight. For six lakh fifty eight, you are supposed to add something. What you are supposed to add? Three lakh eighty nine thousand. You divide. So one lakh ninety four, one lakh ninety four, eight lakh fifty three, eight lakh fifty three. Hope you are clear. Good. This is all about your today's calculation. Any doubt? No doubt. So computation of income of the company. So you are supposed to compute income of the company now. Estimated profit before interest and salary. Like up to partnership form we completed. Now we are doing what? Now we are doing your computation of income of company. How do you calculate estimated profit before interest and salary? Twenty lakh. It is given. Less remuneration. Twelve lakh ninety thousand. How come you got twelve lakh ninety thousand? I'll show you. Up to three lakh ninety percent. And remaining nine lakh ninety thousand. It is sixty percent. If you calculate, you will get twelve lakh ninety thousand. Hope you are clear. Yes, this one what you are supposed to calculate is now. I'll show you the calculation. How much you have? Twenty lakh. We don't have remuneration here. How to calculate remuneration means in this up to three lakh. Ninety percent above three lakh means how much? Seventeen lakh. Sixty percent. Calculate how much? Two lakh seventy thousand you will get plus ten lakh twenty thousand you will get. If you add both, twelve lakh ninety thousand. Sixty percent of seventeen lakh. Hope you are clear. These are the actual calculation. Actually, whenever we do all these things, means whenever actual remuneration is not given, then only we are supposed to do all this. Your problem one and problem two. There is more than sufficient for your examination. So seven lakh ten thousand. And what is the tax? Thirty one point two. So you'll get two lakh twenty one minus four lakh eighty eight. Calculate your dividend distribution tax. Twenty point five five. Divide by one twenty point five five. You will get eighty three. Your final answer four lakh five thousand two not nine. Exactly what we did in the previous problem. Exactly we are doing in this also. Now, so we'll go individually. Individual director one, director two. Remuneration is what? See, we calculated remuneration twelve lakh ninety thousand. Divide by two. Yes. So what is the standard deduction? Forty or fifty? Yes, this one. Remember, for this problem, I have taken forty. But in your examination, please take fifty thousand as standard deduction. Fifty thousand and fifty thousand. You will get answer. Yes. After this, what is your tax? Thirty percent tax. Thirty point. Uh, I'll go back. Thirty one point two. Thirty one point two percent. Calculate now. 
34,840, 34,840. So, you're supposed to calculate tax here. Once you're done with taxation, what is the next procedure? 6,5,000 we have. This 31.2% we have to calculate in the total. But here, what is the percentage? Yes, here we are supposed to do like up to 2,50,000. Like how much you have? 6,5,000. 6,5,000. Up to 2,50,000. Nil. Next 2,50,000. 5%. Next remaining is how much? 1,5,000 into 20%. If you add this and this, you will get 34,840, including education says. Clear? If you add this, you will get 34,840. So same thing, minus, you got 5,70, I'll go back. 4,5 divided by 2. 4 lakh 5 divided by 2, you will get 2 lakh 2, 2 lakh 2, add 772, 772. Now, we have to see where tax is less. Now, I'll go to your partnership. Under partnership, you are paying tax. How much? 1 lakh 76 and 58, 58. Total 2,92,000. Similarly, come to company. There are two taxes are there. One is 2,21,83. Then 34, 34. Add everything. You will get 3,71. Wherever I have marked as yellow color, you add, you will get this value. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now minus with your this one. Yeah, these are the calculation. These are your income. These are your Taxation. Where is tax is less? 2 lakh 92, 3 lakh 72. Here tax is less. So go for partnership form. Hope you are clear. 15 marks. Sure, short question in your examination. So I'll go back to your previous slides so that you can take screenshot. Your problem number two. Your solution as partnership form. Solution as partners. Solution as company, members, conclusion. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Please work out the same thing. So the last one left out is your replacement versus your repair. So we'll do it in the next class so that we can wind up the unit number four. Thank you.